Today, one of our coaches asked us how they could look at the stats from last season and determine which line had the best scoring performance. Of course, you can do this during the season as well, so let's take a look at how you can do that with the stats tracker. Here we're looking at the summary stats for our entire season. You can scroll down, you've got all the individual stats laid out there, and we've got the uh, goaltender stats, the team's win-loss uh, tracking uh, there, and other team statistics. That's not always going to give you performance by line which uh, or, or from any arbitrary assignment of of players uh, to, com to compare them as a grouping against other groupings. So there's a couple ways that we can do that. One is with our uh, individual statistics selector here where you can take a look at these stats in a, in a different fashion. Um, the standard is oriented by plus minus from a ranking perspective, but you know, we can change that to a power play ranking and you can see how power play ranking plus minus uh, which is a variation on the plus minus shows a completely different ranking for for certain players. But again, that's on an individual basis. Here we're looking at the line performance worksheet now and we're able to create our own line combinations. In this example, we've got a uh, couple forward lines defined. I'll define the third forward line. We just put in the player jersey numbers here and that's our final line co combination and uh, puts the names of the players that are on on that line. And now we're ready to uh, start doing comparisons of these lines. Uh, all you need to do is check the checkbox for the lines that you're wanting to compare and it will rank them based on the line performance category that's chosen. Now this is basically the defensive view of their performance. You can go to a default view and see their other uh, ranking uh, may change. We may want to look at uh, perhaps a power play view and you can see that the power play ranking is very different. This is all based on the weighting that you give particular stats that are in there. There's a number of categories that we uh, preset up as defaults for whether you're looking at um, uh, comparing lines or groups of players that attack better, that are maybe more defensive, that have a balanced approach. It's basically a weighting of all these stats um, here that gives you the ability to um, analyze their their performance. So uh, certainly an offensive ranking category which is what the question was. We're going to heavily weight goals and assists. Um, we're going to throw in a weight of penalty minutes because obviously if you're taking penalties in a offensive situation it takes away those offensive uh, opportunities. And then shots on goal is important from an offensive perspective. So we'll scroll back up here and we will take a look at, you know, let's compare defensive play. Uh, players are ranked 1, 2, 3 in this order with the offensive play. And it's 1, 3, 2. So uh, F1 and then F3 and then F2 are the rankings for that. Now I want to might want to be able to put in comparison of the defensive pairs as well, so I'll select those in. And now we, we can kind of see the best defensive pairs from an offensive ranking and the best offensive pairs. Uh, you're able to customize this and create your own rankings with your own weightings and that sort of things, and this gives you a very easy way to compare uh, different uh, line performance. Hopefully that's helpful and that answers that question. Check back with us often for more updates on how you can use information within your stats tracker.